Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's up, guys? Man, it's here. Today, we're looking at Freddie Freeman. Uh, we're going to break down his swing a little bit. I've been asked a lot to, to look at his swing and give my opinion. Obviously, he's a, he's a great, great hitter every year, so consistent. And you don't hear a ton about him. Um, but the guy just hits and hits and hits. And so we're going to look at a home run right here that he hits. And a couple of interesting things. Again, I'm just going to kind of go through it and pick out some some things that I think stand out. The first thing is, is um, you know, he's got he, very quiet in, in the moves that he makes. So it's not, you know, these big, huge moves. Again, both work. There are guys that have really big moves. There's guys that have smaller moves. Um, usually guys with bigger moves tend to get more play on, on Instagram and on Twitter and on, um, you know, all the social media sites, but Freeman is somebody that just kind of puts his foot down nice and quiet. And you can see here how he's continuing to coil here, right? So he's, you know, we've talked about trying to take the back pocket of the, of the rear leg, the back leg. And trying to get that turned towards the pitcher. And so this, I don't get the very beginning of this, but you can see how he's continuing to coil, load his back leg. You can see the stripe right here. If you watch the stripe on the front, you can see how that's turning this way from the back pocket, turning. And at the same time, he's pulling back. Right, so it's, I know you can't see his elbow right now, his rear elbow, but it's behind his hands, and he's continuing to pull back and using his back. So the cool thing here is this load preparing the body happens, you know, it's still, he's still loading. And it's not until right here where you see the back leg starting to turn. But it's coil, 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 coil. And now, right here you see the back leg starting to turn. And as this back leg starts to turn him, you're going to see that his upper body is going to start to tilt back. So we've made some videos on tilting instead of turning or just rotating with the upper body. What you see a lot of guys do is when they start to turn, when their back leg starts to turn, they'll just turn east to west with their upper body instead of a more north to south. And so it's pretty clear right here, right, as this leg's turning, you don't see his shoulder just turn this way, and you don't see it just go forward, but you see it going back. So more north and south. So you've got this leg turning this way, and then you've got his upper body pretty much from the waist up going this way. So there's a ton of, of stretch being created here. Again, if you've seen our other videos, a lot of players just want to go forward with everything. And so you've got the leg turning, and you've got the upper body going forward, and you've got the bat or barrel going forward. And so there's just not a lot of, of stretch created. And you just kind of push the barrel to the ball. And you don't use your body as well as you can to create bat speed. But the other thing is this allows the barrel to get in the zone deeper. All right, so you can see the barrel working back this way. You can see the knob of the bat starting to turn up. And it's all happening, happening back here. He's not taking the knob and just trying to go straight down to the ball. So the barrel's working in the same direction as as he tilts back, the barrel works back. 
And so right here, he almost takes, you know, his barrel's almost taking the catcher's glove off. Right? And so it's getting behind the ball early. And now it's working slightly up into the ball. And this ball is absolutely crushed. And it's really impressive because it's happening off of a lefty who's got some of the filthiest stuff in the league. And I know this year he's not right now um, doing what he normally does. But still, left on left with a guy throwing super hard with wipeout stuff. But it's just a picture-perfect swing. There's a reason why this guy is so consistent every single year. Here's another really cool look. So again, you can see the back pocket of his rear leg. Turning towards the pitcher. He's pulling back. And now as you see that back leg starting to turn him. Like this is a really interesting position right here. All right, again, in this move, this leg's coming this way and he's tilting back that way. And this is the position where a lot of people... You know, if you just take this position, you didn't know who he was, and you looked at this position right here, you'd say, oh, man, like, he's just dropping his shoulder. But all the, the really good elite hitters, they take this part of their upper body, and they, they tilt back. Again, they work more north and south. So they're not just dropping. It's not just that you're just dropping your shoulder, but you're you're literally taking your upper body and not trying to, to go this way and not trying to go forward and down. Feel that action right there. And then again you see the palm up, palm down. So you start to get the knob to kind of work up a little bit earlier in the swing, not taking the knob down to the ball. Again, that's a that's a phrase that's used a lot at youth baseball. Take the knob to the ball, knob to the ball. Instead of trying to get the knob to turn a little bit deeper, because the barrel, and the barrel's going to do what the knob does. So if the knob goes straight down to the ball, your barrel will go straight down to the ball. And then you'll never get behind the ball, and you'll never you know, have a good attack angle. You'll always be hitting down through the ball. But when the knob starts to turn up deeper, now the barrel will start to work back this way. And this is a, another angle where I was talking about how the, the bat almost is taking off the catcher's glove, right? It's not coming down this way in front of Freeman, but it's working back and behind him and around. And again, here's a guy that hits for great average, right? He's not just this guy that hits for a ton of power, you know, lots of home runs and sacrifices his average. He hits for an incredibly high average. He's a very consistent hitter. And he's always, you know, his barrel's always behind the ball. So just some really cool angles. Again, I want to talk about Freeman because sometimes when you show hitters hitting the ball a long way, people say, yeah, well, you know, it's because he's a power hitter. Um, so I've been asked about Freeman a lot to show, you know, it's not it's not just a power hitter thing. If you want to hit for a high average, well, then you've got to be able to get in the zone early. You've got to be able to stay behind the ball, get your barrel behind the ball. So go and check out all our other videos. You know, we break down in our videos. We'll talk about individual things. To, here we just kind of quickly went through different parts of the swing, but I wanted you guys to see Freeman doing it. Um, and then you can go and check out our other hitting videos and, and hear me talk more in depth about each part of the swing and how you know, it really helps hitters with their bat speed, with their path, and, and just with their overall quickness. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any other hitters you'd like me to look at and break down.
Give it a thumbs up, share with all your friends, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.